You're listening to the Purple Teens Podcast. Inspire, nurture, and grow. The people! I am out of here! Oh, what a lot! Oh, come, come on! Happened. What? Because I, I have a little conversation with, with somebody? Constantly, and I am not What? If I was having a place. conversation with, with Bob or something, like, would we be having this talk? You don't make what, guys at Bob. What? Am I sleeping Bob. with Bob? You don't make guys at Bob like you make guys at Clarissa. Oh. Every time she walks in a room, it's the same deal. Come on. That's it. Listen, I have had enough. I am had enough of what? Had I am enough of going what? back to my mother. Oh okay? come! On. Oh please! It's been two months, and I cannot. Plus, take you're gonna it drive three hundred miles to your mother's place. I would rather sleep at my mother's. Oh than come here with on! You. Oh please! Oh please! This is so ridiculous. I mean, we had to work out some custody. Clarissa chances. knows like, exactly what she is doing. All right, she uses John, and she puts him in the middle between you, and she just rubs no, you in every oh, single please. time. Oh please! Like we have I a kid the... together. We I do have responsibilities Listen, as a father. You asked me to marry as you a again. Parent. I am not gonna marry you and Clarissa. Welcome, Properties, to another episode of the Properties Podcast. I'm your host, Oiko Slagiwa, and today we're diving into a topic that can be challenging for many teenagers, the divorce of parents. As teens, we go through a wild wind of emotions and changes, and when our parents decide to separate or divorce, it can feel like our world is turned upside down. It's essential to understand that you are not alone in this experience. Many teenagers around the world have faced similar challenges and come out stronger on the other side. So let's talk about some key aspects related to divorce and how it can impact us as teenagers. Firstly, it's important to acknowledge and express your feelings. The emotions you're experiencing may range from sadness, anger, confusion, and sometimes even relief in some cases. You remember that it's okay to feel these emotions, and they're a natural part of the process. You know? What I mean by the natural part of the process is, now your parents are getting divorced and you find out, and then you love both parents. First of all, you feel angry. You'll be confused at why. Why are they getting why are they getting divorced? Okay. And you know, you whole lot of things, sadness, depression set by even setting. And some people, if their parents are always at log and then they feel that oh their parents are not meant to be together, they'll feel relieved that ugh, at least they're getting divorced and they think it's better for the children. And remember that you need to find LZ outlets to express yourself, such as talking to a f- trusted friend family member or even seeking guidance from a counselor and you know i know most of us nowadays teenagers we don't like talking to like physical physical we don't like this physical contact of a thing but you can literally find counselors online for guidance and when i'm interested friend i mean tested and trusted friend not just friend you think you, you trust but you've proven they've proven to be um trustworthy and you know of your love that it can give you good advice on what to do and then you can talk to a family member that has a listening ear. You are listening to the Purple Teens Podcast. You are listening to the Purple Teens Podcast. You are listening to the Purple Teens Podcast. Oh, oh, oh. Secondly, communication is crucial during this time. Open and honest conversations with your parents. You know, when you talk to them, when you talk to your parent, it can help you g- gain clarity and understand the reason why they are, why they choose the decision, why they want to divorce. So it's essential to express your concern. You know, you might be afraid, you might have fears and any questions you may have. You tell them your fears. Tell them all the questions you have signing the matter at hand. This is the divorce. And remember, communication is a two-way street to so actively listen to your parents perspective as well and try to understand it next building a support system is vital surrounding yourself with friends who are understanding and supportive not just any our friends connect with other teens who have gone through similar experiences you can go to online apps go online and search for teens or search for an app that have teens that are literally going through the diverse stage of the parent And either through support groups or online communities, like I said now. Remember, you're not alone and sharing your thoughts and feelings with others who can relate 
can be incredibly healing. It's also important to prioritize self-care. Divorce can be stressful, so make sure you are taking care of your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. Engage in activities you enjoy, exercise regularly, practice mindfulness or meditation, and seek professional help if needed. You know, why I said you should prioritize, prioritize self-care is because most people, when their parents go through divorce, they don't even care about themselves again. Some people start to blame themselves that, oh, I think my parent got divorced because of us, because of me, because of, you know, all kind of thoughts. And some people, when their parents get divorced or when they go through this stage, they don't enjoy what they love doing again. Like maybe, okay, they love cooking or they love hanging out with friends or, you know, all sorts like that. They won't engage in their regular activities. Even if when they're in class, they won't be able to concentrate again. And lastly, remember that you have the power to shape your own future. Although divorce brings significant changes, it doesn't define who you are or limit your potential. Focus on your goals, dreams and aspirations. Take this opportunity to discover your strength. Develop resilient spirit and create a life that aligns with your values and passion. Perpetent. Remember that going through your parents' divorce is undoubtedly challenging, but it can also be an opportunity for personal growth and resilience. Reach out for support, be kind to yourself, and remember that you have the strength within you to overcome any obstacles that come your way. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Remember to subscribe to the Puppetins discussions. Stay strong, stay positive, and keep thinking. Puppetins!